In this video, we'll be going over how to find your faults and error codes on an AFS Pro 700 display. To start off with, you can see we have two icons here in yellow squares that are flashing. That means that those are current and active warnings. If we select one of them, we can see that this icon here means that we do not have a memory device entered into the display. At this point, we can either select OK and it will continue to flash yellow and we will periodically receive chime warnings telling us that it's still active. Or we can press ignore and you can see here it graded out and it stopped flashing, meaning that it is ignored but it is still an active uh, fault code. So now what we want to do is select back and get to our home screen here. Then we want to go into diagnostics and we want to get to the faults tab on the bottom. Once here, we can see that that memory device not detected fault code is still here and you can see that it says ignored. We also have a few other ones that are in green text and they say OK. So if we go ahead and press on display and select erase all, you can see that it erased all of the OK error codes but it left the error code that is ignored because that error code will remain until we insert a memory device into the, into the display. And as you can see here on the bottom, our DGPS stopped flashing yellow and it's solid now, meaning that we have a good DGPS connection. So if we select display again, and we select select list, we can go into each of these areas and check for any faults and error codes. You can see active alarms has none. Engine faults has none. Active errors has none. You can see we have one here in our engine faults history, but you can also see it's in green text and it says OK. So we can go ahead and erase. And last one, we can go ahead and check error history. And you can see we have none in our error history. And that is how you check to see your fault and error codes on an AFS Pro 700 display.